Fucking yeah, I love the informant Frankie. Yes, that guy is awesome. I can't wait for them for him to get some more screen time. Oh yeah, he's got some funny fucking. Because even just in the first few volumes, he was pretty funny. Yeah, every chapter that is like it's so, a anytime it's a Frankie episode, it's always funny because he's always trying to get with some chick. That's oh, that's true. Yeah, it's, I do remember one or two of those. Yeah, it's like I finally met my soulmate, guys. And it's like some chick he's helping out, and then like it turns out they had a, already had a significant other, and he's just like, mm. <sighs> "I wish you happiness," and he just like walks off with the trench coat, <laughs> wind <laughs> wind at his back. Mm-hmm. Okay, other other uh, decent movie that uh, Jessica Alba is in, Machete. Really? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't remember this because I've only seen that movie one time forever ago. Yeah, the movie's pretty but, decent. Yeah, I would never remember that she was in that film. Yeah. Yeah, poor Dane Cook. Because she got famous from being in um, Dark Angel. If I remember correctly, the mm-hmm. show. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, yeah. That's where I remember her being famous from. Yeah, she was in Dark Angel. Yeah. Although she was in movies before then, so. But it's kind of like how. Yeah, because uh, she was in Idle Hands before that, and then later she was in Dark Angel, and then that's when she got into like, because uh, she has like a movie gap while she's filming there, and then that's when she got big. It was like, what? Oh, um, uh, what's her name? The person who was in Leprechaun. Oh, Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston, that's right. Yeah, because she was in Leprechaun, and then later she was in Friends, and that's where she got big. Yeah. Yeah. It is really funny to just see her in the first Leprechaun movie. Oh, yeah. Just like, like what? You know, it's like how uh, Johnny Depp is in the first um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yep. Yeah. He's the boyfriend. Yeah. That gets uh, ganked. Yeah, that gets turned into uh, a puddle that shoots out of his bed. It's like an up... <laughs> Someone used, like, TM Waterfall, you know, yeah. out of his blood. <laughs> that scene is really crazy, though. Oh, yeah. That first movie is really cool. I actually like it a lot. I would say even some of the sequels are pretty decent. Because, like... Once it knows it's supposed to be kind of goofy, it's weird because that series, I feel like, got a little better once it became self-aware. Yeah. Because that's one of the ones where I actually like the ridiculous kills. Because, like, once they made Freddy Krueger, like, kind of a bit goofier of a character... Yeah, and it makes I, sense. I started to like him better. Well, because it also makes sense because he's he's a, someone who finds you in dreams. And dreams, yeah. by nature, are very silly. Yeah. Because he doesn't really have, like, much character, you know, in the first movie mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, no, he's just, like, this entity that you have Yeah, to he's there, he's evil, you know, whatever. And then, like, as they start to make him, like, kind of goofy, you know, like, he actually becomes... I, I like him. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's definitely much more it's more interesting because he's like that like the what is it like adding that layer of goofiness gives him a layer of humanity yeah exactly yeah mm-hmm. so it makes it a bit more personal i guess is the, mm-hmm. is the way you would put that yeah Yeah, and then at that point, he's just, like, doing the killing because he, like, really just enjoys it, you know? Yeah. Like, he just loves his job at that point. Yeah. It's not even about revenge anymore. You know, like, the first two? Mm-hmm. I know the first one for sure, and the first... I think the second one still has a lot to do with that. I just remember the second one, they have to, like, go, uh... I think they have to, like, find his body and do something to it, like, bury it or something to kill him and do something... Because that's where there's that scene where there's like a skeleton with the Freddy Claws. Mm-hmm. I think it's in that one. I haven't watched any of those movies forever. There's a really nice DVD box set back in the day that had like all of them. That looked really cool. I 
But yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff that they would do back in the day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I definitely agree that <laughs> that Friday the 13th got better when it was a little more. Uh, oh, no, it's Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. What the fuck me? Friday the 13th is Jason. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think those ones are like worse the more they go on. Same with Halloween. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Halloween is not really that good, like, the more it goes on. Especially, yeah. like, the way later stuff, like, right now. Yeah, because it's, like, one of those things that you, like, this should have ended way too long ago. Because also it's, like, supposed to be in reality. Yeah, and there's that weird one in the middle where they try to change the whole movie up and stuff. With the masks and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that is, uh, yeah. No, no. So... That one does. Definitely a strange one. Yeah, because it's also had like way too many different visions and directors putting their hands in there. Oh yeah, for sure. I also would argue that Season of the Witch isn't that bad, but it's definitely bizarre. Yeah, I haven't actually watched it in a very, very long time, and like, it's probably like if the movie wasn't called Halloween Three. Yeah. It probably would have been pretty interesting, I think. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, definitely. Because it doesn't really... I don't remember it having any connection to Mike Myers at all. It doesn't. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure on that. Because it's like, oh yeah, these masks, you if you keep them on, you die or some shit like that. Yeah, it was some weird magic that gets like broadcast over TV or something. Yeah. That's what I remember, because you're supposed to have the mask on while it does that. Yeah. Cause it, and then you would, like, become a monster or your face would melt or some weird shit. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, there's, like, you know... It was one of those ones that I was like, oh, thank God, it's not Mike Myers, basically, was my, I think, my take on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was my hot, scolding take. Like, oh, thank God. I kind of like Mike Myers as a villain a little bit, but once it gets to be too ridiculous, because I like the idea that he's just some evil guy, you know? Yeah. Like, once he starts to have, like, weird powers or survives anything too crazy or whatever, you know, yeah. like... Then it gets a little much. Yeah. Yeah, and that that's where it is at right now for me, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just kind of like, I'm like, whatever. This is just another... The All the movies are just made for the fans. They're not made for anyone else to watch them other than the people who are really devoted and into the franchise. Pretty much. But whatever. Mm-hmm. How it be. How mm-hmm. it be. Man, can you believe that they're both home and they just started beating him? It's true. He's probably like trying to let everyone know that it's time to be up and at him because everyone's here. I'm trying to remember what is that the Mm -hmm. creamy mommy opening that I have in my head? Which one? It's like I was like da 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 da. That's the creamy mommy. It is okay. Yeah, Yeah, that's the creamy mommy opening. Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's that's the creamy mommy. Sing to shoot yeah, that's the creamy mommy. That's like the first creamy mommy. Yeah, sorry. It was because it was playing in my head while I was drawing Lum, and I was like, this isn't the Russo at Sir opening even like no. close, but for some reason, this song plays in my head while I'm drawing this character. It's just because so, it's an old classic. Yeah, so I'm get, I was like, yeah, that's basically why I was like, oh, this must be like an old classic anime that's kind of like adjacent. It's the same character designer. Yeah. The anime has yeah. the same character designer. Her name is like. 
Kimmy Takata or something like that, or something close to that, I think. But she's the same character designer. Because she was at A-Fest also that year. Yes. With them. I remember. I was not there, but I do remember. Fucking crazy ass long hair. Makes no damn sense. Some balls up at the end randomly. <laughs> Oh, her, ha her hair? Yeah. yeah. It has that circle. Yeah. Oh, God, these things. These things are creepy. I don't like them, which is a shame because they have characters I like. It's just funny to look at because, like, I'm looking at that and I'm like, this is like the reverse of a Funko Pop. It is. Where you put too much there's, soul in it. There's too much eyes, yeah. They're, they're meant to look even more like Cupid dolls, I think, because their name is like Q something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and it just sucks because they're characters I like. But I would never buy them. Yeah. So it's an even worse version of Funko Pop. Because Funko, Pop like, Funko Pops generally don't have too many characters I would like to get. Um, check this light a little better here. But, um, and then they also look creepy. But those have, like, characters I actually like, but they look creepy. And I don't like them. Rama, you jackass. <laughs> That's Ukyo. But I know. Yeah. I was, I, sorry, I was just remembering th mm -hmm. some scenes from Rama, and I just that one just popped into my head. I was like, ah, that's... Ah, ah, ah. I do remember that Tall mm -hmm. Ellen was like, I don't like Rama and Akame together because I think they both kind of hate each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure on that. Like, towards the end of the series, they got along a lot better. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. You know, so... I'm guessing she must have read the whole thing. Must have. But at the same time, though, it's just like the, the constant bickering is probably where she's coming from. Yeah, definitely. Like, she's also said, has, uh, is on record for saying she hates those relationships where they do nothing but fight. Oh, and, yeah. And then I'm every, not the biggest fan. And then, but everyone's like, oh, yeah, no, I shipped them so hard. It's yeah. like, it's like, the, it's legit the Asuka Shinji. Yeah. Principle. I always think it's weird, even in the show, too, when it's like the characters fight all the time, but then they're like, but I love them. You know, like, it's kind of weird to me. Uh, yeah, there's because so. that's because usually the show that does it doesn't do a very good job of writing it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I think because like, Rama makes it work better, especially like after the final act, the final um, you know arc. Yeah, like, they're much more like honest about their feelings towards each other and things like that. Yeah, and I get it. Like people like like that characters so. aren't honest about their feelings because it's funny, um, especially because like the idea of pride being uh, yeah. uh, such a detriment to this character mm -hmm. which is funny yeah like it's funny because yeah. it's in a comedic way but yeah usually it's not not healthy um, yeah but i don't know i do i do agree that like somebody can say that yeah these people who uh, bicker all the time uh, you can if you if you can write it well mm -hmm. um you can definitely have those like soft tender moments and they make sense kind of like with the um, with uh lorelei and basketball boy oh yeah 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 because uh, the, 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 I don't know, like, even though that's, like, probably not a good example, but, like, mm -hmm. it, at the same time, the way they do it doesn't make me go, like, oh, God, these characters should not be together. But it's, like, kind of funny because they don't realize that they're, like, acting mm -hmm. like a couple. Yeah. And I do love the parts where, uh, what is it, uh, Nozaki's like, no, they can never find out who they are, who mm -hmm. each other is, because they're... Um, cause, uh, what was it, uh, Sakura's coming up to him and she's like, oh, I love the minor, I love the secondary couple so much. I really hope they get together. And yeah. he starts thinking about it and he's like, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. I love that shit. That shit fucking killed me. <laughs> I was like, that's, no, that's fair. That's accurate. That's, that's how it should be. I'll make sure I have everything in my power to make mm -hmm. them to stop that from happening. 
Yeah, I also do love also, uh, what was it, that um, that shitty editor from nozaki Kun. <laughs> yes, that guy. Oh, oh man. That guy's fucking annoying. I made this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, speaking of that, somebody, um, what was it, was saying they created Knuckles. Some uh-huh. Somebody from, um, oh, what is it, from the, the movie pictures. They said they created the Knuckles character. And everyone online is just like, uh, no, no, you didn't. This is uh, from a Japanese game. You're some rando white dude who just... What? Hold on, like, the person in the movie thinks they created the character Knuckles? Like, so, so, like some, someone working on the film? Yeah, someone working on the film said in an interview that they created Knuckles. What? Oh, what? Yeah. That doesn't, that's insane. Yeah, it was, I can't remember his name. It's like, last name started with, like, a, Spen, I think it was, like, a, last name was, like, Spencer or something, or Spen or something. Either way, someone said that they created Knuckles, and we all know that's bullshit, because it was a Japanese game. It's for... old. That doesn't even make sense. How could you even say that? I can't wait for when we finally get old enough to have a live-action American Naruto movie. Oh my god, that sounds miserable. It's going to happen in our lifetime. I just want to let you know I... that. Oh, man... You know, there's not even a Japanese live-action movie, so... There's a stage play, but... Yeah. Again, I wouldn't be shocked if, at some point in time, somebody at Warner Brothers says, You know what's popular with kids? Naruto. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Let's make a live-action movie. And it'll be probably just the... Uh, some amalgamation of uh, the first arc um, where they go to the the bridge mixed with uh, mm-hmm. Naruto becoming uh, a ninja. Yeah. Like, do his little, like, origin story. And then that. <laughs> It'll be great. I've found this. Apparently, I think this person is some sort of known... Uh, insane person in the sonic community oh good i'm glad yeah because it says ken pender's best known Penders, that's what it was in the sonic community for his comic book run and sega lawsuit is threatening further legal action after the release of sonic the hedgehog 2 the comic book artist and writer has taken to twitter following the film's premiere claiming that it uses two of his characters from the Archie Comics Sonic series, as a result, he says he wants his attorneys to discuss, in quotes, uh, to, quote, discuss the matter with Paramount producers and hasn't ruled out another lawsuit. Penders, who admits he hasn't seen the film, takes issue with Knuckles having a father in the film's version of his backstory. He goes unnamed, and all we learn about him is that he was the leader of the Echidna tribe and died trying to reclaim the map. Oh, spoilers, thanks. But, um, I mean, I guess they're going to say that anyway. Uh, Pender says that the character is actually his, referring to Knuckles' dad in the comic books. Okay, no. He also says that the producers used his character, some other fucking character, as an inspiration for something else. Okay, sure. Doubt, but okay. Sounds fake, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Um... Yeah, no. So fun, funny, funny story actually. Um, Sonic comic book creators are actually usually pretty nice individuals. And now that I'm remembering this, this is um, this guy is kind of a known asshole. That's what it sounds like. So uh, are you familiar with this person? Or... Somewhat. I remember meeting him at a New York Comic Con. And he was very protective of literally anything someone said. Like he was correcting people, uh, doing the um actuallys a lot. And I was like, man, this guy's a fucking asshole. And I had no idea who he was. And then someone pointed out to me, he's like, because uh, there was a kid in our, our class uh, that wanted to work for Archie and make Sonic comics. And I don't know if he ever did or not. I hope he did. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but this, this guy was constantly brought up as like the plague and the reason why he was like, God, I just hope I never end up like this fucking guy. Which I was like, yeah, this says, Penders worked on the Archie Sonic comic book series until 2006. Famously, in 2010, he yep. was sued by Archie for copywriting characters he created for the series. 
Uh, in a case that was eventually settled and dismissed by the judge, as a result, numerous characters had to be retconned out of the story. He yep. then went on to sue EA and Sega, although not over characters he actually created. He claimed that an echidna-like race created by Bioware for Sonic Chronicles the Dark Brotherhood resembled his own Knuckles look-alike characters. The case was dismissed. Okay. Yeah, no, he's no known, known entity. Huh. All right. Sounds insane. Yeah. I just want to run really fast through a level, so I don't really pay attention to most of this stuff. Yeah. That's most... probably why I never heard of this. Yeah, most of the lore is in the comics. Yeah, originally. that's true. I do know that because there's like nothing else, you know? Yeah. It's like you play the game, you run real fast. You get like some dialogue some of the time depending on the game. Yeah. Uh, and you know. uh, yeah, you know. Like, yeah, that's you say, about it. You're, save you the read animals. The manuals. If you read the manual, it'll tell you some stuff, you know? Like, yeah. And um, Eggman is a self-proclaimed feminist. Yes, I do remember that. So. <laughs> I do remember that. That's fucking hilarious. Self-proclaimed feminist. Self-proclaimed feminist. Because someone was putting that up to the up next to this clip from the Sonic X anime in Japanese, where he says that like, um, what is her name? Rouge has like huge tits. <laughs> he just says something like, "Your boobs are huge," something like that, yeah. just like out of nowhere. It's funny actually. If you talk to anybody who's a Sonic fan, they usually are like, "Please don't talk about Sonic X." That's hilarious. God, don't talk about Sonic X. <laughs> Please, I beg of you. I didn't really watch that show. I just know it existed. Yeah, I know. It's funny. It's not good. So. Long, long, long story short, it's not good. I'm not shocked. It didn't look that great. Yeah, the, the adding Chris, the Chris character was what really did it in. Because basically the plot is very much the, the games, mm -hmm. but um, with this kid and then Chris is just there. That sounds terrible. Yeah, it's not very good. Hmm. Yeah, it's not great. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, oh, God, that existed. Like, yeah, Tony, I bet you if you asked Tony about it, he'd probably get like, yeah, he's like, no. <laughs> no. We do not talk about Sonic X. No. That's funny. <laughs> the fuck is this show? Oh, this, this random show. Hmm? Okay. I forgot that I applied to a show that I didn't want to, uh, that I, I was like, oh no, I, I just shouldn't have applied to this. I like, I hit apply and then I was like, wait, ah, oh, fuck. I, I didn't look at this show. Give me a sec. And then I looked at it and it's like, oh fuck, I applied to the wrong show. No, really? But they didn't, they were saying they're still going through applications. What show was it? It's called Kazoku Khan. Okay. Cause it just looks, it, it looks, it, it, it's, I think it's a first year is what I was like, no, you know about. That's a one-day convention. Yeah. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I Because it was one of those things where it's like, oh, a convention. Let me go apply to it. And then um, I didn't notice it was a one-day. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, God damn it. Damn it, Matthew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is in America either. What? Kazuku? Uh, maybe I clicked on the wrong Kazoku con. You, you said Kazoku? Yeah, Kazoku. It has like a wolf emblem? Mm. A mustache? A dog with a mustache? No. Different one? Okay. That's it's with a K. The con is with a K. Oh, that's part of the reason. Got ya. It's like, wait. <laughs> now I see it. Ah, okay. Okay, yes. This makes more sense. In Toledo, Ohio. Gotcha. Okay, this is not a one-day show. Oh, thank God. No, okay, that was the weird one in, like, Europe somewhere. But, yeah, this is in Ohio. Yeah, new three-day anime convention. The Glass City Center. I don't know what that place looks like. But, yeah, um... Yeah, probably not a show I'd want to fly to. Yeah. Um, especially since the first year random anime show in Ohio. Yeah, no. Um, so, yeah. 
That's uh, yeah. I'm just gonna ignore it if we do get in. Which yeah, is... hopefully, yeah. Just ignore it. Just don't pay. You know. Yeah. I'm fine being blacklisted by a small show in Ohio. You mean I never have to play this game again? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm free! <laughs> It's like fucking like just do the genie thing. I do think it's funny that she turned into the cat. Oh, yeah. The joke. And he's, like, terrified of cats. Yeah. Also just because she's a thieving cat. Is the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those good, good, uh, good jokes. Like, visual gags. But yeah, no, she's totally fucking afraid of cats, too. <laughs> That's always really funny. Yeah, that. no, I love that part where it's, like... And then that was when I read the last page of the manual, where it said, warning, this training can cause severe psychological damage. <laughs> that was so funny. And, like, some shit like that. <laughs> that cracked me the fuck up. Oh, yeah. Bro. Genma is, is up there with Yendo and the, uh, the father of the year <laughs> in anime all the time. Always. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I love whenever Shampoo would just ride in on the bike. Mm -hmm. Just land right on Ronma's head. <laughs> Shampoo bring too too delicious sweet and sour pork. This is a silly show. Yeah, it just sucks that, like, the anime and all the OVAs end before it, like, starts to go to, like, the next level of, like, even better shit. Mm hmm And the anime has a lot of bad filler episodes towards the end. I've heard. Mm-hmm. Mainly from you. Yeah. <laughs> As I've heard. Oh, really? From you? Well, you. you of course. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, I only... Uh... Yeah, because it's the... OVAs, they don't have the part where they fight the um, the dragon guy. Yeah. The guy who's like part dragon. That fight is fucking awesome. And then there's a bunch of other funny stuff from later that they just never animated. I think that you said they never animated the debt, the debt off. Yeah, they never animated the one with Nabiki, where Nabiki pretty much has a fight. <laughs> Yeah, just like who can stick the person with the bill versus like this guy who has like a butler that is like a puppet. <laughs> like his butler is a puppet that he carries with him. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. It's like so insane. Yeah, it's like one of the funniest things of the whole series because it's just so absurd. Oh yeah, that's how it goes with this. Series. Yeah. Yeah, because they just kept, like, going on crazy and crazier, like, dates and, like, extravagant shit trying to stick the other person with the bill. 
Yeah, that one was really funny. There's one where like Akane puts on like this weird like outfit that gives you like even that gave her like even crazier strength. It was like a living like suit. It was like a living outfit. Mm-hmm. It was like clothes. That was really funny. Oh yes. Kill and so she kill. was like beating the shit. Yeah, it was like some early kill a kill shit. She was like beating the shit out of Ronmo. It was hilarious. So that one was really funny. I think they did the part. I think they did the part in the anime where Ryoga had that weird, had that funny thing. He had that shitty smiley face painted on him. Yeah. To get super strength, also. I think that was in the anime, maybe. Because I can't remember when he did that. I feel like that's like before then. But yeah, and there's like barely any of uh, Miss Hinako, the teacher who can mm-hmm. like transform, who's a little girl, but she'll like get aged up when she steals your key. There's like barely any of her in the anime, and she's absolutely fucking hilarious. It's a goddamn tragedy. I know. Yeah, there's like a short arc where she has like, she buys some of those like uh, fighting fish, oh. and she's just like continually absorbing their like energy. To stay in her, like, older state. And, like, it's really funny because there's a scene where, like, Ronma, like, breaks into her apartment to try to, like, figure out what's going on, you know, and, like, stop it. And he's just like, I'll never find anything in here. It's too messy. (laughs) He, like, ends up cleaning her whole apartment. (laughs) Like, that just fucking killed me. It's also, that's, yeah, that's on that same level of, like, fucking Kodachi just comes in. Oh yeah, it just comes in with all the rose petals and the leaves with even more rose petals. Who's gonna fucking clean this up? Come on. I love stealing. I love taking things. Yeah, right. That was for the ice skating girl. Yeah, yeah. That just makes me think of that too. Yeah. Because again, we're talking drama. Mm-hmm. That makes me think of all the really fucking... The fucking klepto ice skating girl, yeah. yeah. This is mine. <laughs> Yeah, no, that shit's fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. Some of the changes were really weird. Like yeah, you they told moved me around like, yeah. stuff in the story. Like there's a there's a martial arts tea ceremony fight that is really early. It's in like book five in the English book, which I don't remember what that is in the Japanese numbers because they're different numbers. Mm-hmm. But it's like really early, and they move that shit way off till like the fifth season, I think, or something. And then it was funnier because in the manga, Ranma has to fight a monkey. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Versus yeah. in the anime, he's fighting this old lady, which is, like, still pretty funny. Like, the fight's still, you know, decent, but it's just funny that Ranma has to fight a monkey. Yeah, yeah. Especially for something like Japanese tea ceremonies. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Because the monkey was, like, a stand-in for someone because they were too embarrassed to go. They were like, I was too embarrassed to go <laughs> to meet them because <laughs> it, was, it was supposed to be... Um, cause this guy gets Ronma to come help him. Um, cause he, he wants to say like he has a, he already is, uh, has a fiance or something, I think. And, you know, so this fight's in like girl mode mm-hmm. and it's like, well, they sent my, the, the girl I was arranged to be married to, you know, and it was the monkey, the monkey showed up. The, the girl later admitted, she's like, I was too embarrassed to show up. <laughs> So I sent my pet, who well, I forgot the monkey's name, you know, in my place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were like, what? <laughs> but yeah, he like fights the monkey and they're like swinging around on trees and shit in the, while they're still like in the sitting position, yeah. fighting out in the tea garden. Oh, stuff. yeah. It's really yeah. funny. Yeah, well, that's great. Yeah, that, that fight is hilarious. Yeah, because the first half has all the weird martial arts fights. There aren't very many after, like, the middle of the series that I remember off the top of my head. There's still, like, weird ones, but they're not the, like, you know, martial arts cheerleading or martial arts ice skating and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. That's all the stuff at the beginning. And they never got to Ryoga's girlfriend, who loves babes. Oh, yeah, man. she's not in the anime. I don't think at all. I don't think she's even in that Runic World OVA. 
Bullshit. I can't remember. Yeah, his girlfriend, whose family raised sumo fighting pigs, and she just loved pigs, so they were like perfect together. Mm hmm. Do I think if I remember correctly, that was also one of those jokes where it's like, you don't have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Were there any jokes like that? What? I feel like that was one of the gags, was that like Rama did not believe that he had a girlfriend. Uh, I can't remember. They met, they met several times. Yeah. So, it's usually because the... there's a chapter where like Ryoga's trying to meet her on a date and everyone's trying to help him get there. Yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about right. Yeah, it's really funny. That's like one of my, the funniest ones. I think that's like one or two chapters at the most. It's really funny. Yeah, that sounds all right. Um, no, it was, um, the reason I'm asking is because I, I was reading it for a bit because you uh, were lending the volumes to me and, uh, mm -hmm. and I just kind of fell off. Um, I mean, they're out on the shelf if yeah. you want to read them. I definitely won't stop you. Yeah, um, God bless. Yeah, there's some funny shit. I love that Ryoga is just proto Zoro. Yeah. There's also at least... I can't remember if he does this twice, where Ryoga, or where girl, uh, Ranma turns into a girl and pretends to be Ryoga's sister. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Sweet, I remember. Your long lost sister. <laughs> like, I do like Ryoga's dog. Ryoga's dog is named Checkers, mm -hmm. and it's, complete, it's split perfectly down the middle, black and white. Yes. Cute dog. Yeah, that's one of those animes that you'd probably just recommend people to read, I think. I would point. always just recommend people to read it. Like, you can watch it, but I wouldn't watch I wouldn't watch it past, like, season four. Because after that, you have a lot of filler episodes to skip. Yeah. And season four is where he learns to do the, the Hiryu you Shoten Ha, the, like, dragon tornado mm -hmm. thing. Because Takahashi always puts, like, some sort of counter-tornado or something in yeah. stuff. That's where he learns to do that. It was in, like, season four. And I think most of the... Yeah, pretty much all of the primary characters are there by season four also. Because, mm -hmm. like, Ukyo is the last fiancé and she shows up in season three. So... These are like the American DVD boxes. They're mm -hmm. called that. Mm -hmm. So, because the seat the the first season is actually a different show, and it was actually canceled. <laughs> right. Like Rama was actually canceled at first. I do recall that uh, that tale. And then it came back with the second one, and they just started where they left off. They didn't like start over again. Yeah. So, in the English release, it's just one show. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still one show when you buy it, like, in Japanese and everything now, but, like, when it was originally airing, it was like that. That's a pretty show. That's what I heard. That's what I read back in the day. From what I remember, it does kind of feel like that too, I think, when the season ends in the first series. Or in the first season. Mm -hmm. But it's been a long time since I watched it. I think that one also has less episodes than every other one, but I don't know if that's true though. Like, I'd have to look at the DVD. Look, it doesn't matter what's right. What matters is what you feel. Oh, it's so true. Also, I like the movies. The movies are pretty fucking good, in my yeah. opinion, at least. The first movie is, like, has all the really interesting, like, fighting, and then the second movie is just really kind of dumb and goofy. Like, it still has some cool fights, but just the idea that they're, like, stuck on an island, like, it's fucking Gilligan's Island. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's, like, hilarious. I like the villain sword that like glows too in the movie. Yeah, again. So, I think Rama. Uh, I think if anyone wants to watch or anything Rama, I'd probably just tell them to go watch the movies and then go. Uh, I always tell them to read it, but yeah, I'd be like, if you want to watch it, you can watch it, but just know it's. 
towards the, towards the end, like it's going to be like a lot of episodes that are just not worth your time is the issue. Because those yeah. filler episodes, most of them are just very bad. They're not like they're not even like ridiculous to watch because they're so goofy or whatever. They're just bad. They're just bad episodes where like nothing important happens and things like that. Nothing funny happens. Yeah, they're just not anywhere near as funny. There's like some annoying ass characters in some of those episodes too that I just fucking hated. It's like, man, I fucking hate this guy. I can't wait for this episode to be over. And if you read it, you get to you get to all the other characters that are really funny. Yeah, that you don't actually get to see. Yeah. Those martial arts, man. Pretty much. Who else is a funny character that never showed up in the anime? The um the cross dressing ninja girl that never showed up in the anime. She works with well. I got. I mean, it's a dude pretending to be a chick. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So context of the series back then you know what i mean no i understand so they they help out at ukyo's later and they're really funny there we go that looks really good there's also this really funny, like, uh, two or three chapter arc where Ranma runs into this cursed mirror that, like, makes a duplicate of him. Yeah, and it's just annoying or something like that. No, they're what? absolutely hilarious. Oh, I'm thinking of the ghost or the, the demon that possesses somebody, and it was just, like, it was an annoying uh, loafer. Oh, no, you're thinking of, um... Oh, maybe you're you might be thinking of like from Arusia at Sura, where that demon comes out of the mirror. That's what it is. It was yeah. No, in in Ranma, there's a demon that like possesses people, and it possesses Kasumi, <laughs> and she becomes evil, which is hilarious because yeah, she's just not very evil, yeah. even while she's evil. Yeah. I love it in the in the dub because she's always just like, "Oh no, did I do something evil again?" <laughs> like after something happens, it's yeah. really funny with her dub voice. Yeah, and the demon looks really stupid. But, uh, no, the evil mirror, the cursed mirror, like, makes a copy of whoever is projected in it. So there's, like, a copy of Girl Ranma that's, like, running around just trying to hit on, like, every dude. And then it's really funny because Ranma's just like, nah, this is how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like showing his copy how to Mac. <laughs> and then it's funny because they're trying to get the... They want the double to go back into the mirror, and eventually what happens is uh, Ranma stands in front of the mirror in his, do in his guy form, and the, the guy one comes out of the mirror, and then they are like, oh, and they go back into the mirror. <laughs> it's pretty funny. God. <laughs> yeah, that was towards the end. I think that might be, like, the one of the last arcs before the big, like, two-volume arc at the end. Oh, these look good. This one looks nice. Darling. Both both after their darling. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Fiercely uh Different me different yeah. methods of getting darling. Well, a violent uh you know, violence in their own way. Yes. You know? One is with lightning, one is with Kung, Fists, yeah. Kung Fu. A bicycle. A bicycle. Usually, usually a bicycle is Those involved often. giant rattles. Yeah, the giant stick with the clubs, the big clubs. The clubs, She has yeah. a sword, too, that she'll use. She uses a lot of different weapons. But, yeah, these came out pretty good. I like them. I think they look really good. Yeah, I think that uh, these are definitely solid upgrades to what I would have done in the past. Mm -hmm. Especially this one, because friends like this is my fourth time drawing her. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Third or fourth. I just remember mm -hmm. that each time I've drawn her, I'm like, oh yes, finally. Seems a little better, yeah. Yeah, finally better. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah. But yeah, no, these came out great. I really like them. Yep. Feels good to draw the classics. Mm-hmm. You see, like, an Inuyasha piece, probably. Oh, yeah. You know? People would buy that. Kagome! <laughs> Inuyasha! <laughs> Sasuke! Boruto's dad! That's my opinion! Bro, you forgot to do Yuki Bora and your lordship in there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, like, but, we only have so much time left before the stream it that's explodes. True. That's true, yes, you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> in just a few seconds, your house yeah. will explode. I love, if you'll excuse me, your house is about to explode. <laughs> Whatever the fuck he says in that movie. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah, it's such a silly film. That movie was amazing. He used his psychic powers to put those kids through college. I, I always <laughs> thought it was going to end up manifesting this way. I thought the power might manifest like this. <laughs> like, did you? Did you really? Can I see some notes? Yeah. Some dated notes? Fuck. Because that film is a slow... It's a slow burn. Slow It's a very burn, slow burn. But, but my once gosh. he gets the powers, it's like, boom, night and day. Night and day. The, the second that guy is like, would you be willing to participate in an experiment? You're like, hold on, What? <laughs> I wanted to Because make... that's also like after that dream sequence. Too, yeah. Yeah. Which that's is hilarious. That's a lot. Especially also when the son gets killed and it's just like. It gets. It ratchets up like really intense halfway yeah. through the movie. That's when it starts to pick up. As long as you can get through the first part, then you're good. Yeah, it's wild, man. But. I think we're going to go. Yep. I'm going to. So. Cash out, crash out. Mm hmm. Try again tomorrow. Right. We'll be back on Wednesday, right? Yeah, back on Wednesday. Anything's going on? Nope. Yeah, so. All right, well, catch a funky space wizard battle, and uh, again, we'll see you on Wednesday. See you soon. Thanks for lurking in the back, anyone. Nash, have a great night.